Well, Qantas is phasing out analogue scales at airport terminals following revelations they are inflating the weight of hand luggage by as much as 30 per cent. For more on this, I'm pleased to welcome journalist who broke the story, John Rolfe, who is the Cost of Living editor for News Corp. John, good afternoon. Good Thank good you day. so much for joining us. Look, you actually tested out a number of these analogue scales and you found that some bags that were weighing, say, seven kilos, they were actually being classed as nine kilos. Yeah. That's quite a big gap, isn't it? Yeah, so what I did was I found the company that provides the scales that are used by Jetstar. And I went out to their office and I took my hand luggage and I mucked around with books and pillows and clothes until I had a seven kilo bag, a bag that I knew was seven kilos. Mm. And then I went to the airport and I tested 45 scales. I stood in line, I waited my turn, and I found that in some instances it could weigh up to two kilos more when measured on these old style analogue scales predominantly used by Qantas. Mm. And so um, if you're a passenger and you've turned up thinking that you had a bag that was the right weight, you could get a nasty surprise because if you've already used your checked luggage allowance at Qantas and there's no more space in that allowance, then you're up for $90 to yeah. put that bag and it's just not right because that bag wasn't overweight. Exactly right. And it can be really expensive, as you say. I've been in that situation where, you you know, you arrive and you end up having to pay hundreds of more dollars yes. than, you, than you expected. But, look, um, you mentioned Qantas there. How have they responded to all of this? Because I imagine it's probably quite long overdue. Mm. So I, I was surprised to discover... I mean. You go there as a, as a passenger. It's another thing to go there as a journalist, as I did. Mm. My eyes were wide open. I didn't know there was even analogue scale still in use. Yes. I went to Regional Express, and look, I'm from the country, so I'm used to things being done the old school way. They had analogue scales, but I didn't know that the Flying Kangaroo, our premier airline, was still using scales that you expected to find in the fruit shop in the 1970s that are so far out and dudding their customers, and it's not good enough, and they said to me they're going to get rid of them. Yeah, good. And that will be great news for pas passengers, no doubt, as well. Yes, that's right, because it means all of the digital scales that I checked were spot on. Yeah. And that's great, because we're seeing this crackdown from airlines of all colours mm -hmm. trying to get more money out of us when we bring on a handbag with our carry-on. And lots of people are doing that because they don't want to stand around waiting 20 minutes for the baggage carriers to get the bags out onto the conveyor belt. So they try and cram it all in, the airlines are onto it and they're making more money from it. Look, it's quite extraordinary and fantastic that you have, you know, sort of generated a response from Qantas and hopefully they, they do change things. Um, in amongst your investigations, you've actually spoken to a number of customers mm -hmm. who've been caught out as well. What have, that, what have they all had to say? Well, that's what triggered this all. Uh, I do a lot of these types of stories and people came to me saying that they uh, were measuring their bags at home, they were checking them on the bathroom scales and they get out to the airport and discover they're over the limit and they thought that it was all being dodged up by the airline. Well, certainly with the digital scales, that's not the case. What's going on? These bathroom scales are not designed to weigh weights under 10 kilograms. So that's not what you should do. You shouldn't rely upon the measurement, get it right up to the limit on your bathroom scales because you could, could get a nasty surprise at the airport. What you can do mm. is step on the scales yourself, get your own weight, step off, wait for it to zero again, then step on holding your hand luggage and you will get the right weight because that's what they're designed to measure, a human, not a hand yeah. luggage. You just wonder how much we've all been paying in excess baggage in the past, right, if this has all just been uncovered. Was that one of the concerns that you'd spoken with customers about as well, you know, what they've actually had to pay in the past? Well, I think in the past there was more wriggle room. You could get away with it. But certainly what I observed at the, at, at the airport mm. on the, um, during the week was that everyone is getting checked and people, they're worried they suspect that they might be over. Certainly there are ways around this because the airlines, despite their increased diligence, aren't checking what you're doing before you come and stand in the queue. They're just giving you the little tag to say it's OK. So what's to stop you, and many people have told me this is what they're doing, taking some items out of your hand luggage mm. before you come up to get the bag tag that says that you're under limit. That's what people do. Or they wait for the mobile scales to be taken away, which they tend to be closer to actual boarding time, and then they haven't got a problem. Right, and I guess there's all those little tricks as well. You were telling me in the break that, you know, you've got big jackets now that you mm. can stuff things in and find little tricks and, and ways around it, Well, right? I saw people stuffing the fruit from their hand luggage into their pockets because <laughs> they knew they were over the limit. Mm. And, yes, in the UK... People have, are making fun almost of the policies of the likes of Ryanair, yes, getting these large anoraks that have a million hidden pockets in the inside where they're stowing kilos and kilos of yes. extra baggage. Yes. Um, and look, just finally, when will the, uh, the scales likely to be phased out? How long do you think it's expected to take for, for the new lot to come through? Well, I'm going to make sure it happens inside a month because I'm going to go back out there. And if that 
dodgy scale is still at gate one and gate 13 at Qantas, I'll be back on here to tell everyone that they need to do it quicker. All right, fantastic. Look, John, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for taking us through it and, you know, well done on, on uncovering all, that, all of that as well. Thank Wonderful. you. John Rolfe joining us there. For more on the exclusive baggage checks by News Corp, you can pick up a copy of the Sunday Telegraph or read the online report.